Welcome to Late Night Weekend with Tom Lina Weaver. Well, thank you, Vera. Better introduction than last week, I can assure you of that. Okay, um, what is today? Uh, it's March the 2nd. I'm actually doing this a little bit early, but it's still late night, Saturday night, you know. Uh, some places are watching late night, Saturday night, or Saturday night live, whatever. So you know it's a late night. Anyway, okay. Now, let's see, Friday night. Um, uh, I, ha when I remember, I watch Washington Week on PBS. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I've had, I've watched... Washington week when Gwen Eiffel was on and I, I didn't miss too many uh, times uh, when Gwen Eiffel I thought she was pretty good uh, moderator, host, whatever then uh, of course she passed away and uh, for a time of mourning I didn't watch the show for a while but then I start watching it again and try to watch it every week uh, and Bob Costas, I think, does a good job in hosting the program. But then something happened. Fox put Last Man Standing on Friday night at 8 o'clock, right next, Washington Week. Okay, so I watched that for several weeks, and, you know, I just couldn't get used to a taller, blonder, thinner... Mandy and it, it just wasn't the same and then there was rumor that Ed was uh, going to retire and uh, and on and on and it just wasn't the same it so I start watching Washington week again when I remember or when I was awake or what have you and also uh, they put firing line on at 8:30. Saturday, uh, Friday, and I start watching that. Now, of course, the main reason I start watching that is the host has a nice set of legs. I mean, to tell you, they are nice. Well, I probably won't watch it. I mean, that's not a good enough reason to watch the show when they start getting perverts and put perverts on the show. I'm telling you, that thing they call Caitlyn Jenner is one of the ugliest things you ever want to look at. I mean, I would rather have Tammy Faye Baker. Yeesh. Uh. Anyway. Um, unfortunately, Tammy Faye Baker is dead. But maybe we can get a clone. <laughs> anyway. I mean, Phil Stiller. Phil Stiller. Almost anybody is better looking than that thing. Uh, what I call it a thing because what else can you call it? Anyway. So, I probably won't be watching fire li Firing Line. I mean, the Firing Line used to be a serious program. Let's see, wasn't the host uh, of Firing Line at one time William F. Buckley? What was it? And, and I don't think he would have had anything like that on the program. So, anyway. So, uh, even if I had the money, which I don't, I would never, ever support that show again. Now, if I had, I, and I might do this someday anyway, I might send him a couple of dollars, for uh, Washington Week because I think it's a good program. But never, ever firing line. I'm sorry. It's just... Mm. Well, anyway. Yes, this is my time of the week to go crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, what's happening in the news? Anything worthwhile happening? Did uh, Donald Trump uh, do something with his hair you know anyway so 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's, you know, you ever watch TV? Does anybody watch TV anymore? I, I don't watch a whole lot of TV anymore. I just don't. There's there's just two food. I don't, I don't watch prime time at all. There's nothing. I don't care what network you have. Prime time is just not that good. At least not for me. Maybe it's maybe it's because I'm too old. I don't know. What what am I? I'll be 63. Okay. Well, at any rate, um, this is just too too. This prime time just too. I don't know. It's 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 a lot more violent. Um, I I I try to watch Magnum PI. I just can't do it. I mean, the guy that stars in that show doesn't even come close to looking like Magnum. He would he would be a better fit for Mannix. Remember the TV show called Mannix? He would be a better fit for that if they would ever do a remake. I don't think they have anybody come close to William Conrad in canon. You know, and Hawaii Five O. I'm sorry, it's just it's not the same. You know what they should have done instead of doing a remake, but doing a sequel. You know what Hawaii Five O is like today, not a sequel. You don't call that guy is not McGarrett. I don't care. You know he's not McGarrett. So if CBS, you know, do a sequel to the to these different programs, not remakes, because you don't have what it takes to make remakes. In order to do a good remake of Hawaii Five O, you still need somebody that looks like Jack Lord. Anyway, so I, I'm sorry, I I just can't watch these shows. Now, so let's see what else can we attack. <laughs> Donald Trump didn't do anything stupid this week, did he? I don't, I don't hear much uh, much about him right, right now. Um, that's not true. I, but I just haven't heard anything that he's done really stupid. So, can't say anything about him. I will say a few things about uh, Miss Cortez. I mean, I, I tell you what. She's been saying some good things lately. Hey, Miss Cortez, you go, girl. I mean, I, she was asking questions about President Trump, his finances, and what have you. And I, I've been saying all along that Donald Trump's the most evil man ever to sit on the sit in the White House. I still think that. I, it comes, you know, it's a very close. You know, Lyndon Johnson was originally had that spot but uh, Donald Trump is pretty close to that I don't know if he's beating Lyndon Johnson but anyway so those who are uh, you know between Lyndon Johnson and Donald Trump I think they are the two worst presidents we've ever had okay well is there anything else can I go Yeah, let's see. What's on tap for tonight? It's Saturday. Let's see. Uh, probably watch some news to catch up on the big snowstorm that's coming this weekend. Uh, probably see who knows what they'll talk about. I mean, you ever watch news? Why does food enter into a newscast? Why do they talk about Easter candy? Why is that news? I mean, how many times are you watching the news and and you say to yourself, or sometimes you say out loud, why is that news? I mean, hey, a donut eating contest. Why is that news? 
You know, it's just. I, how how is how in the world? What do they decide news is? You know, and, and, and you know, you every once in a while they get these people on crying the blues about one thing or another. Why do you do that? Why you know? Why is news so emotional these days? You go in, you report the news. Matter of fact, not emotional. You know, this never happened in my neighborhood before. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. That's not news. You know, what we're seeing today is not what we would have saw 20, 30 years ago. Oh, and weather? Why are there so many gimmicks in the weather? Uh, to cover up that they don't get anything right? Maybe that's it, you know. It's a weather warm day. A weather warm day. What? Why is that? You know, we're going to get a snowstorm. Why call it something other than a snowstorm? You know, winter weather advisories. Okay, you got the National Weather Service doing that. But, you, you know, these gimmicks, the gimmicks that they're they're throwing at us, with the weather, the weather exclamation point day. What, what's that for? What, you got this exclamation point in a, a yellow triangle. What's that for? <laughs> Why don't you just give us the weather? Let us know and let us know whether it's a weather warm day or not. I'm just <laughs> oh, report the news. Just report it. Let us decide. Whether it's severe enough to call it a, a warning or whatever. Gee, yeah. I, I tell you what, it's, it's hard to watch news anymore because it's just so full of, I'm going to say it, full of garbage. I mean, most of the footage on these newscasts ought to be in the trash can. It's, you know. I, I, I just love it. Don't you just love it when a weather person goes out in a hurricane <laughs> and supposedly he's blowing a, a, onto the side while behind him we see people and, and they're walking perfectly. <laughs> I remember that video. That was a good video. And But why? Why do these people go out in a hurricane and tell people to stay indoors. <laughs> yeah. Or they go out in a snowstorm and they tell people, don't drive. But they are driving in that snowstorm. Why do you do that? Why do you people do that? Yeah, anyway, I, I guess I'm just too old-fashioned. I want to see news, sports, and weather the way it used to be done. It, it made sense you know, long time ago. So and they did everything in the studio. They didn't have to go outside and, you know, have a microphone and and then, you know, hey, how about how about these uh, people who slip on the ice while they're doing a newscast? <laughs> okay, folks. I think I've had enough craziness for one week. I maybe not. I might do another one tomorrow. I might have more crazy stuff to talk about. But uh, hey, thank you. Uh, by the way, that new announcer. What do you th what do you think of my new announcer? Uh, her name is Vera, Vera Marie Allo. So what do you think? Okay. You folks have a good weekend. I might see you tomorrow night for another edition of Late Night Weekend. See ya.